Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's a very popular question. I get this one all the time. We're going to see how to properly store students and their grades in your Microsoft Access database. And I'm going to show you how to prepare a spreadsheet-like view of them using a crosstab query. Today's question comes from Candace in Beaverton, Oregon, one of my Platinum members. Candace says, I'm a teacher and I've been using Excel for many years to manage my students' test, quiz, and assignment grades. Recently, I've decided to move everything over to Access, which I know is a much better long-term solution. How can I display my students and their grades in a spreadsheet-like format similar to Excel? Well, yeah, Candace, I get asked this question a lot. People say that they've been using Excel for years. You got your students down the, the side there as the row headers and you've got the quizzes, tests, and other assignments across the top as your column headers. And how do you store this information in Access? So first we're gonna see how to properly store this because storing data in a relational database is a lot different than just putting it in Excel spreadsheet. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to store this. We'll create the right data entry forms to put the information in in Access. And then we'll see how to build something called a crosstab query so we can display it like that, like you're used to, okay? Now, this is going to be an expert level video. What does that mean? Well, to me, expert is sandwiched between beginner and developer, which means you should know more than just the basics, but you don't have to know any programming to do what we're going to do today. Now, I do have another fast tips video on building crosstab queries. If you want, go watch this first. It'll give you kind of the basics of what a crosstab query is. You should know what many to many relationships are and how to create junction tables. And of course, you should know how to use subforms and how to create those with your many-to-many -many relationships. And you should know how to create relational combo boxes. That's where you make a combo box that gets its values from another table or query. These are all free videos. They're on my YouTube channel. They're on my website. Go watch those and come on back. There's going to be a couple other videos I'm going to mention too, but they're, they're not required. They're kind of optional. I'll point them out as we're going along. All right, so this is probably what you're used to. If you've been working with Excel to store your students in grades, you got your students over here, you got your tests and quizzes, whatever over here. And this is just fine for a small amount of data, but once you start getting lots and lots and lots of data, it does make more sense to start storing this in Access because you can do things like tack on the, you know, the, the school year and all kinds of other stuff. You can relate students to other things. There's just so many benefits to using Access over Excel for this, but I'm not gonna go through all of that today. All right. Now, when you're, when you're moving information from Excel into Access, usually you've got multiple entities involved here. You've got a student, right? So a student is going to get a record in a student table. Then you've got a test or a quiz. We'll call these assignments, okay? It could be a test, a quiz, a project, a book report, whatever. All right, stuff, anything you're grading on. That's going to get its own table, okay? Then you've got the merger of those two things, right? Sulu for quiz one. That's a third table, that's your junction table. Okay, so that's how you store all this information in Access, you need three tables. All right, so here I am in a Tech Help free template. This is a free database you can download up my website if you want to, and we're not really gonna use this today, but there are some things in here, like I got my blank, continuous, and single forms. I like to use those as templates for new databases that I build. But we're pretty much gonna start from scratch. Let's create our tables first. So we're gonna go to Create, and then Table Design. And the first is going to be our student table. So student, student ID, that's our auto number. I'm just gonna put student name in here. Obviously, you're gonna wanna add all the fields you want, like first name, last name, address, phone number, all those things that you wanna keep in here, the graduation date, whatever, okay? I'm keeping it simple for class. We're gonna save this as the student table. Auto number, yes, that's gonna be my student ID. Save it, and I'm gonna put some stuff in here. Fortunately, I happen to have my list of names in Excel already. There they are right here. I'm going to copy my list of names, copy, come over here, highlight that column, and hit paste, and there they are. Okay, that's the easiest way to get those data over here. All right. Next up is the assignment table. So pretty much same thing. Create table design, assignment ID assignment name. You could be as descriptive as you want. Is it a test? Is it a quiz? Is it a project? What's the due date? What's the assigned date? All that stuff can go in here. Anything related to this specific assignment 
but for the purposes of class, we're going to keep it simple. Assignment to table. Save it. Now, in here, I don't have a nice, easy list in my spreadsheet. I got it up here, but you can't copy and paste it if it's that way, but we can transpose it. So we're going to select this stuff, copy it, control C, click over here somewhere, right click. We're going to paste special and then find the transpose one, which is this guy right there. It's also it's right over there too, right? That guy right there with the little arrows. It just takes it from horizontal, makes it vertical. Now we can take this, copy it, come back over here and then paste it in like that. See, and there's our assignments. All right, let's close that. Save changes. Yes. Next up comes our junction table. So again, create table design. This is going to be student X assignment ID auto number. We'll need a student ID number and an assignment ID. That's also a number. And then what's the bit of information that we care about storing? Well, the grade, right? And I'll just make it a number long integer. If you want to make it a double, make it a double, whatever else you want in here. You can also put in here the date that the you know, class was taken, all that stuff. We will save this as student X assignment table. Now, getting the data in here ain't exactly easy to do. I'm going to show you some ways to make it easy. I like to have some sample data in my tables while I'm building the database, though. So let me just show you what it's going to look like for those of you who are not familiar with how this setup works. So you got your students, right? And your student IDs. Whoops. Come here. Come here. All right. There's our students. Here's our assignment. Here's our assignments. I can't click today to save my life. All right. So in this junction table, it's a mixture of this and this. So you'll start off with, all right, student one, Jim, right? Assignment one, and he got a 90. Okay, student one, assignment two, 87. See how it works? Student one, assignment three, and then, uh, I don't know, 100. Okay, that was the Kobayashi Maru. Um, so that's how you do it. And then you just go through and do it for each one. Is the data entry a little more tricky in Access than it is in Excel? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you some tricks to make it easier, though. Okay. All right. So that's good enough for now. Save changes. Yes. Close that. Close that. Close that. All right. So all of our tables are done. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a data entry form just like this guy. All right. Well, we'll have the student information as the parent form and the sub form will have a list of all of the assignments and the grades. And then we'll also do the reverse of this. We'll have one where the, the assignment is the parent and then you'll see all the students. So we can go back and forth. OK, so let's start off with our student form. I'm going to copy my single form. This is just a blank form with a couple things and it. it's got all the settings and stuff that I like. It's, it's in this video where I make the tech help free template where I sign uh, I'll show you how I do this stuff. All right, so copy, paste. We'll call this one the student F. It's my student form. It's down here. Design this bad boy. Okay. We're going to bind it to the student table. All right, so go to the forms properties where the, this, this little button here where these rulers meet, you double click on that if you don't have the property sheet open, right? You're now on the form properties. Go to data and find the record source type. All right, it's student T. That's where it's going to get its records from. Okay, now well, there's only really two fields in here anyways. We're just going to assign these text boxes over here. So this one here is going to be the ID, the student ID. I'm going to copy that and paste it in the name as well because we don't want text one, right? And then this guy is going to be the other field, the student name, copy, paste. Okay, and so this is the student. Okay, save that. Now down here is where the subform is going to go. So let's build the subform next. Now the subform is going to be a continuous form. So I'm going to copy this continuous form here. Copy, paste. This is going to be the student X assignment subform. Okay, let's open this guy up. Design view. Now. You'd think this is going to be based on the assignment, but it's not. This is based on the junction table because each record in here represents that grade, right? That the intersection of students and assignments, right? If you look at it on here, each record represents one junction table record, the grade, right? And then this stuff is just the other fields that we have so we know who's, who it is and what assignment it is, okay? So we are going to bind this guy, go to data, record source, bind this guy to the Junction table. 
okay? Now, we don't really need the ID in this one because we're probably never going to use it. I'm just going to delete these fields, and then I'm going to come over to Add Existing Fields, and let's bring in this stuff. Just these three things. Bring them in over here. Drop them. And then we're going to get rid of these labels because we don't need them. All right, there's the student ID, there's the assignment ID, and then there's the grade next to it. Okay, and I'm going to just change these guys. So this will be the student, is the labels, right? And this is going to be the assignment. And then we'll need one more for the grade. Copy, paste. This will be the grade. And you can go right over here, like that. All right, let's get rid of all this extra space in here. Close that up, close that up, save it, close it. Let's open it up, see what we got. Okay, all right, let's left align this stuff here. Left align. All right, one more time. Let's take a peek at what we got. Okay, so here's student one, student one, student one, assignment one, two, and three, and then the grades. Okay, and this is going to go as a subform inside of this guy, and you'll see it right here. But before we do that, I don't want to see these IDs in here, right? I want to see the names, the student name and the assignment name. All right, so we're going to use combo boxes for that, and we'll pick up there in tomorrow's class. So tune in tomorrow. Actually, it's going to be it's going to be Monday's class because today this is being released on Friday, the twentieth of September, twenty twenty four. So we'll pick this up on Monday the 23rd. So tune in then, <laughs> same bad time, same bad channel. Or if you're a member, you can watch it right now because that's one of the benefits of being a member. But that's going to do it for today's video. That's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you Monday for part two. A special thank you and shout out to our Diamond sponsors. First, we have Juan Soto with Access Experts Software Solutions, manufacturing experts specializing in Access and SQL Server. Juan is a 13-time Microsoft Access MVP. You can check them out at accessexperts.com. Another shout out to Sammy Shama from Shama Consultancy. Sammy is a certified Microsoft Office specialist, and he not only offers Access application development, but he also provides one-on-one -on -one tutoring services. So if you need someone to hold your hand and help you with your access project, Sammy is your guy. Check him out at shamaconsultancy.com. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't wanna to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. 
And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two. It's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.